This video is here to say another fantastic, huge thank you to everybody that's been supporting me and the channel that's watched the video, subscribed, commented, given me suggestions, and supported each other through the comments sections of the videos over the last couple of years. We've just passed the 15,000 subscriber mark and we're almost at the 2 million view mark, which for a channel that I originally set up for my own entertainment, is a fantastic achievement. So I want to say thank you everybody for all the effort and support that I've been getting over particularly the past year. I joined YouTube in late 07, just for my own entertainment really, and it was a place for me to put videos in the early days for friends and family of things that I was doing. Last year, I got a lot more time and I started to put work into the channel to create series of videos that subscribers were asking for. Back last summer, there was probably only about 1,500 subscribers in total, which I was very happy with and it was a nice channel, but very quickly, once I started to put more time and effort into the channel and create the content, it started to bloom very quickly. By the 3rd of October last year, we'd passed the 5,000 subscriber mark, and that was a big milestone for me because it meant that the channel was starting to gain popularity, and I was also starting to see the channel being linked and commented on in places like RC groups, flight test forums, and other places as well. Five and a half months later, on the 17th of February, we actually passed the 10,000 subscriber mark, and then a mere two and a half months after that, here we are at the 15,000 subscriber mark. So it's rising dramatically. The channel was originally created for people that were new coming into the hobby. Because typically when I started out, I was going onto the forums and finding that the simple questions that I was asking was met with a certain amount of aggression and derision. And I couldn't get some straight answers to some very confusing questions that I had as a new person in the hobby. I'm a trained electronics engineer and I spent 25 years working in and around IT. So I'm pretty literate when it comes to systems. But finding out the basics was a little bit tricky because nobody was putting it in a way that I could understand in a place where I could get to easily. This channel developed to be that place for new pilots. So for me, this channel is based on a couple of principles, really. The first, it's about ease of access to information. It's about showing where information is, showing the step-by-step -step process of how everything works. And that's worked really well for us over the past couple of years because it's helping people get into the hobby. And the more people that get into the hobby, the bigger it gets and the more we all benefit. It is a safe place for new people in particular to come and look at the remote control pieces to find out how it all works ask those questions and to spend time looking at the playlists that are on the channel to find out information that they need and hopefully after a couple of views will start to understand. I don't expect anybody coming onto the channel to understand everything from day one. If they did, they wouldn't be looking at the channel. But what I would say is this channel is all about helping people find the right information. It's not about giving everybody the answers all the time. It's about pointing them in the right direction and giving them enough to be able to solve their own problems. A lot of the videos that are on the channel have actually come directly from subscriber questions and comments. So thank you to all of those of you who have spent time and come to me and said, one thing I don't understand is, or a really good video could be dot, 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 and explain or give me an idea of something that is interesting. That's been a really great part of the channel and something that I've really enjoyed talking and messaging with subscribers to help understand what they need and also what they want. And that has helped the channel grow in a way that's created this community. So what about the future? The future of the channel is what we all want to make it. It's very much been influenced, as I've just said, by what you, the subscribers, want to see. There will be a Pixhawk set of videos coming up and the CC3D series will finish next week and that will cover in much more detail than any of the other video series what it takes to make, build and fly a remote controlled copter. But one of the things I'd like to ask as part of this video is for all of my subscribers out there, what is it that you want to see? What is it that you don't understand? Sometimes I don't have the equipment in order to be able to do that. So for instance, I don't have the Tyrannus radio, so I can't do things like the RSSI telemetry information that a lot of you have asked for. 
but whenever I have the kit, I will absolutely do the video. And at this point, big thank you to those subscribers who have sent me equipment to test and try out. Very generous of you, and it helps everybody on the channel. But a big thank you to all of you. You know who you are. So in summary, thanks again. Thank you for the help. Thanks for the support. Thanks for getting involved in the channel and helping each other and build this Painless 360 YouTube community. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future and I'll put it to the list and hopefully I can get those videos out sooner rather than later. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.